We're back. Uh, let's let's uh, say amen, everybody. Amen. <laughs> okay, right. there she is. We have um, Hargros Romero on the show tonight. She's going to be talking about the uh, Lotus Beauty. Lotus Beauty, Hope, hope, hope for Our Youth. So uh, nice meeting you uh, for the first time. Thanks for coming in and, and, and sharing with us uh, your program. Uh, tell us, tell us what this is all about. Well, first of all, thank you for having me here. You're welcome. Um, I actually lived in Washington for the past years, and I came to St. Croix last year and realized that there was a need to pay attention to some of our youth and so instead of going back home to Washington I decided to stay and organize the first island treasure hunt it was island wide and it was so much fun and I saw how much the children were enjoying it and not only children we had a lot of adults they were about 65 of them and so I decided that I needed to maybe look at other things that I could do for the youth as you can hear I do have some issues with my vocal cords but it is not a hindrance and it doesn't stop me from getting to the things I would like to do and so I decided to do the Lotus Beauty Project it is for right now it's about a hundred youth 50 girls 25 males and 25 young moms and what I am doing is collecting different items and asking for donations so that I can create care packages for these hun this hundred um, youth and a lot of people ask me why do you name it the Lotus Beauty Project and I selected the lotus flower because it grows from within the mud it lo in shallow waters and in order for it to surface it has to go through, through all that mud to be able to come to the surface and rise and then when it does it is beautiful yes. and that is how I see our youth they go through many struggles and right now the world is in chaos and they need to know that we are here for them so I am engaging different organizations that deal with youth so that they can help me select um, these hundred kids that are really in need of someone showing appreciation for what they're going through and someone also showing that they care and that's why I'm here. Okay, um, and so um, the Lotus Beauty, you were saying before we started that you, you, you couldn't, um, well, t tell us a little bit more about how you came about the name. You were saying that you couldn't spell out beauty, uh, something like that you were talking well, about. the thing is that I did a project with one of my nieces about seven or eight years ago, and she called it Lotus Beauty, and it was spelled B-E-A-U-T-Y, which is the correct spelling. And when I wanted to use it for this project, I realized that that name has been used by other groups and I wanted to make it unique and different. So I was thinking of a way of how to come up with something that sounded the same. And I started thinking, the Lotus, I chose it because it represents these kids so then why not 
say something like B U and then T Y. And to me, it's like telling the kids B U, thank you. But I put it together so that it represents beauty. Okay. Uh, and this is your first time? This is your first, uh, your first year for this, this program? Yes, it is. Okay, okay. Um, and when, when are you going to have it? I mean, um, is well, there like it's, it's not like a specific event. Okay. I actually am working with Women's Coalition, and they are selecting a group of their youth that for the ladies that they deal with. Okay. So once they have that group, I will visit and I will give out the care packages that are prepared for that section of the kids. Oh, okay. Then I'm also dealing with Mount Bichu Community Services or Center and the Women's Ministry. They're also seeking for the recipients. Like I said, I haven't been living on the island, so I'm not too familiar with a lot of the stuff and the people that are here. So I am seeking assistance and collaboration okay. from other entities that deal with youth services. Okay, okay. Uh, and you were saying here that uh, you have... Um, you have... Uh Donations or care packages for 100 youth, 50 female, 25 male, and uh, 25. 25 young moms yes. between the ages of 16 and 24. Yes. Okay. Okay. Um, is, so there, is there anything in particular that you're looking for, Malagros? Well, I gave you the list. Okay. You okay. can read it. It might be easier. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. So uh, some of the things that she's looking for is... Um, Diapers, uh, pampers, and huggies, 20-pack, different sizes, newborn to step three. Uh, baby wipes, 20-packs, uh, uh, split, split rags, spit rags. Yes. Uh, uh, she's also looking for baby towels, baby toys, socks, 20 pairs, white, yellow, or green. Um, what else is she looking for? Uh, for females ages 12 to 17 and single moms, shampoo, conditioner, baby gel, and soap. She's also looking for hand and uh, body lotion, uh, washcloths, uh, wipes for adults, 50 packs, uh, sanitary napkins, and tampons, 50 packs. And then for the males, she's looking for uh, males age 12 to 17. She's looking for uh, shampoo, 25 bottles, conditioner, 25 bottles, uh, bat gel, soap, uh, 25 bottles, hand lotion, uh, washcloths, wipes, Hats, uh, belts, uh, plain T-shirts, uh, sizes small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL, and combs. I guess 25, uh, 25 brand new picks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll probably read this list one more time as we get a little closer to the end there. But yeah, this is uh, you know this stuff. Uh, so you, you you're going to take this stuff and create care packages yes. and hand out. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. It, in this list, it is not included, but um, I also have a booklet that it's called As a Man Thinketh. And I'm hoping that especially the males that are going to be receiving the care packages, that they will take this book and read because it's about creating a positive mindset and about understanding that everything we think about, we bring about. We have heard these speeches over and over, and it's making more and more sense the more I pay attention to it. And so I'm hoping that they will take advantage of the lessons that come in this booklet. Okay, okay. Um and uh, you said your, your cell phone number is 939-437-0950? Uh, yes. Uh, you can reach her on that number here. Uh, repeat it one more time. Her cell phone number is 939-437-0950. Uh, she also has uh, email too. Lotus.b.u.1 
lotus.ty at gmail.com. Let me spell that out as lotus, L-U-T-U-S, uh, dot B, uh, the, the letter B-E, dot uh, U-Y-O-U, dot T-Y at gmail.com. Um, and so, uh, how, how is the, is the have you uh, done any like early uh, outreach yet about this, or this is just... Uh, I have actually been promoting this on Facebook and I've gotten several donations. I've actually gotten donations even from some of the people I know in Washington. They have been awesome in even shopping and sending stuff over. Um, when I'm comparing prices, okay. even with, with the shopping, I realize that it's cheaper. So... I've had several people. Hold on a second. I think we have a call here. Hello. Talk show. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. You. That's my sister. Oh, she's okay. In Washington. Hello. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, Hello. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, uh, are you there? Can you hear me? Okay, great. Um, Hello. You're gonna actually have to put on the earphones. Oh, please. Just, just hold on a second. Yeah, just, just put them on. <laughs> okay. All right. Hello. Can you hear us? Here I can hear you. No, I cannot hear her. Okay. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Let me get. Let me get. Hold on. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So you know you know who this is? Yes, this is my sister Catalina. She's okay. calling all the way from Washington State. Okay, well uh, you're you're live right now, so uh, we the, the world is listening. I know we can see you live. Okay. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are able to see you live over here, all the way in Ferndale, Washington. So we're kind of happy to be able to see something. Good. Good. From the Virgin Islands, so we're excited. Okay, <laughs> have you been to uh, Have you been to Saint Croix? Yeah, it's kind of. It say it again. Have you been to Saint Croix? It, it's kind of difficult to hear you over here. We it's kind of make getting cross. Okay. Uh, she let me see. Can you hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. I can hear you. Have you been to Saint Croix? Hello. Yeah, no, I'm having a hard time listening to you, but so just, you know, we are excited about this thing that my sister is trying to put together. Okay. In the Virgin Islands, even though I might never make it there, I'm excited I can live a little bit of this experience through that computer and your live streaming program. Yes. <laughs> so I am excited about this program that you have there, that we are able to see it. Okay. So uh thank you for providing that. Thank you for watching. Yeah, thank you for so watching. Thank you very much, and let me let you go because it's kind of hard to hear over here. Okay. Okay. Well, All thank right, you thank for you calling. I really appreciate that. Have a yes, good night. Yes, and I am from the Virgin Islands, as you can hear. I still have an accent. Yes. Have yes. <laughs> All right. Have a good night. Thank you very much. Okay, uh, that was. Uh, Maybe that was your sister. That's yes. Milagros' sister calling okay. from Washington State. Uh, to say that um, she's she's watching, she's tuned in, and she's watching, and she's uh, she sounds uh, even more excited than you do. You know, oh, yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> she's ready. She's ready. She is actually one of my greatest fans. She's always encouraging and always pushing me to okay. do more. Okay. It's like I've had a lot of health issues throughout my life, and she's like, "Do not allow that to stop you. That is not who you are." Okay. So she is a force behind. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So real quick, if I can, I'm just going to kind of run through this real quick. Yes, uh, please. So uh, our guest tonight is Milagros uh, Romero. She uh, has, her project is Lotus Beauty, Hope for Our Youth. Uh, you can reach her at uh, her cell phone, 9939-437-0950. She has email, lotus.bbe dot u y o u dot t y at gmail dot com 
Uh, she's on Facebook as well. Um, and she says the lotus is a beautiful flower. And uh, she's going to have care packages for, uh, I guess, generally young adults. Yes. Uh, some young adults and uh, up, I guess, until the age of, uh, I guess the highest age I see is 24. Uh, and she's just uh, working with the Women's Coalition, uh, the Women's Ministry, and the Mumbiju Community Center. And uh, she's looking for many, many different types of, uh, I guess these are, uh, I guess what I would co co consider uh, like um, Toilet toiletries, exactly. Yes. So she needs pampers for babies, baby wipes, spit rags, baby towels, baby toys, baby socks, um, shampoo, conditioner, bat gel, uh, wipes, sanitary napkins, and these are for young adult moms. Uh, uh, I say young adult, but these are actually kids, uh, 12 to 17. Yes. Uh, and then the same age grade, age range, 12 to 17 for male. Uh, very much the same stuff, uh, lotion, gels, hats, belts, uh, plain t-shirts, small, medium, large, extra large, and double XL. And just combs to comb your hair. Look, <laughs> make yourself look presentable. Yes. Okay, well, I guess that's it. Uh, do you, anything else that you wanted to add real quick to the Nothing very... Nothing else. I just want to say thank you for having me and for giving me this opportunity to speak out. Okay, well, thank you. Thank and you, Milagros. And continue doing, your, doing what you're doing, you know what I mean? Because uh, a, a lot of youths out here do need this help. And, yes. And that's a great thing that you're doing. And coming from all the way from D.C. to come here to live. Oh, not D.C. It's Washington, Washington State. State. Washington State. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. on the other side. <laughs> on the West Coast. <laughs> yes. Okay, yeah. all right, yeah. Yeah, coming from Washington State to come here to um, to St. Croix to provide a service for our youths, that's a great plus, you know. So. Well, I was raised here from the time I was five months old. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Right. Well, so I love St. Croix. Okay. <laughs> and so does her sister. <laughs> yes. <laughs> well, she was born here. Oh, she was born here. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Our guest tonight is Milagros Romeo. She has a, pro a project, uh, Lotus Beauty, Hope for Our Youth. Uh, just give her a call, 939-437-0950, uh, uh, and she can give you all the information about it. If you want what? to donate anything, any toiletries or anything like that, that's where you can reach her at. Yeah, just all kind of toiletries <laughs> and that kind of stuff for young adults, uh, babies, uh, male and female. Thank you so much.